Well, as Chris said, uh, uh, I've been building CAD systems a long time. In fact, I've been building CAD systems 37 years now. And uh, I was lucky enough to be part of one of the big uh, popular changes in the industry. I've seen a lot of change in the industry. And some people will say to me sometimes, what was it like at the beginning? Or what was it like when you were just getting started? And my answer to everyone and my message to you today is today now is still the beginning. And today now, we're still getting started. I don't just mean with Onshape, I mean with CAD in general. Even though we've been building CAD systems as an industry for so long, for 40 or 50 years, I feel like we're maybe half done with the value that we can bring to you, the people who use these systems. I feel like modern computing technology gives us the raw materials we need to build it. And so in the next uh, few minutes, I'm going to share with you a bit about the update on the story of CloudCAD, this new generation of CAD that we're building, that we're building looking at the problems that you have and how we can solve them with a new kind of CAD system. Uh, as shorthand, and a too long don't read, if you just want the summary, 2018 has been a huge year for CloudCAD. We were, we were lucky this year to unfold two significant pieces in our vision of CloudCAD. Those of you who have been following us for the last couple of years as we told the Onshape story and led the way with CloudCAD have seen us deploy several aspects of our system, but this year we added two big important new ones, which is a new approach to formal data management and a new approach to controlling and managing enterprises. And these are the two things I'll focus on in, my, in our talk. And it's turned out that cloud is even more powerful at solving these problems you have than we had expected. And that's the highlight for our session here. Outline, we're going to be looking at why did we build a new generation? Why build a new generation of CAD anyway? What is it? What's new? And what have we learned? So why did we build a new CAD platform? We're going to start not with CAD, but with you how you work and what you do in design. We meet with you. I've, I've, I've had the real joy of meeting some CAD users here that I know. Um, and it's always a pleasure to talk with you. I've spent my whole career going out and meeting customers. And when I see customers, I talk about not just how they use CAD, but more importantly, how they design. And what we hear everywhere is the same, that modern teams have had to change how they work. They're under intense pressure to do more with less, specifically to have less time, less money, do more, be more innovative, produce more different products. They're not working as one monolithic team in one building anymore. They're working in global distributed networks. Of, uh, it's no longer a supply chain, but a supply network of companies that work together. Nobody does it all by themselves in one company. These teams change every day. There's a big, big, big premium on collaboration, agility, iteration, working in parallel. People want real-time information. Gone are the days of the Gantt charts and the once-a-month design reviews with paper, paper drawings rolled out. People want to know what the design, what state the design is in this moment. This moment. Not yesterday, not the day before, today. Against that backdrop, we see the problems that you all have with CAD. You may not even realize these are problems. You're using the system and you know, designs are getting done. We'll talk about that in a moment. But think about the problems. I want to shed some light on what we see when we talk to companies that are using older traditional generation CAD. And that's what most people use. And you may not realize it, but just stop to think about first the issues with deploying the CAD system. This we see everywhere. It starts as soon as you have installed software. You have downloads, installs, upgrades, service packs, license codes, and servers. Incompatible software versions. Try to work with another company. and. They, they might have the same software you have, but they have a different version. Or if you work with more than one company, you might have three of you on different versions of CAD. What do you do about that? And of course, they crash. You're always hitting the save button and everything. It's just the way it is. These things sap time out of your design process every day. That's just the software. Bigger problem is the data. Data was stored in files. We didn't know any better when we wrote these systems. 30 years ago, neither did anyone else. They're stored in files. Everyone needs their own copy of the files to work, right? As soon as you have copies, you have problems. No matter how you do data management, you can do it. Some people just put files in a disk drive. Some people exchange them through FTP. Some people use PDM systems. No matter how you do it, you end up with copies everywhere. And as soon as you have copies, this is data management today. Most people do it through copies. No matter how you do it, there's problems. Where's the latest version? Am I about to overwrite someone else's change? Are they going to overwrite my change? 
Uh, and the solution that we as a CAD industry offered, and most of you use, is, involves locking data, checking it out, taking copies. You know, check out and locking, those sound like good ideas, but they're not. Those are poor ideas. This is a poor design. If we were designing a system to meet the needs I talked about a moment ago, to work fast, we want people to be innovative. There's nothing that says innovation about checking out files and locking them and tracking down copies. These aren't things we invented, these are things we observed. I mean, we made the systems. Sorry about that, we're trying to do better now. Um, and of course, you know, we tried moving this to the cloud, but if you simply copy files and software to and from cloud servers, you haven't really fixed the problem, okay? You've just kind of moved it to a cloud server. The workflow is still the same. This diagram looks complicated, but I can guarantee you that, that this is a dramatic simplification. None of you are working on projects this simple, this easy. They're all more complicated than this when we see it in real life. I had to dumb it down just to make it fit on one page. And you know, this is, this is something we call design gridlock. We think that this situation is a hidden drain on your time and your creativity with every project you're working on. And it's only getting worse because all the factors I listed earlier, speed, collaboration, global work, those are all becoming more important in this situation isn't getting any better. We call this design gridlock, like the traffic gridlock you see here. Eventually, you know, products get built. Products got built on paper and pencil, too. It just takes longer than it should. It's more frustrating, and occasionally there's a bad accident, like, you know, incompatible versions, cutting the wrong tool, stuff like that. We saw these problems, and we saw the emergence of cloud, web, and mobile technology, and we saw the opportunity to solve these problems for you, and that's what motivated us to take the lead in building a new generation of cloud-based CAD at Onshape. We call it a full cloud architecture. We're the first and only system in the world with a simple vision where we put your CAD tools and your CAD data in one place in the cloud. They're never copied anywhere. There are no downloads or installs. There's, we eliminate all kinds of, there's no licensing, there's no codes, there's no servers. There's nothing to install. It's impossible for different people to be on different versions of the system because we're all using the same single instance of the CAD system. Upgrades happen across the world. Everyone is always on the same version. We upgrade every three weeks. Your data is not stored in files strewn all over the place. It's stored in a database. Like, guess what? Every other business system in your company has data in a database. You don't copy HR or financial data all over your company to collaborate. It's in one place, in a database. We keep your data in the database, and that allows us, as you'll hear in a minute, to give you a tremendous power you never had before with data management and analytics to know what your team is doing in real time. And that's the vision of Onshape. We've been very fortunate to quickly build a tremendous user base. We have thousands of companies who have purchased Onshape, over five million usage hours on the Onshape platform. One out of six Onshape sessions happen on phones and tablets. This, we think, is really cool. And I don't mean just viewing. I'm not talking about viewing of old data that was designed a week ago. I'm talking about live CAD sessions involving editing and data management of up-to-the-moment data. And Proudest of all, we're proudest of all that we're named number one in CAD customer satisfaction. This is from hundreds of user reviews on G2 Crowd. You can check it out yourself. Um, that is a testimony not only to the software we've built in our architecture, but to the tremendous team of people we have running support. Big shout out to my colleagues in Onshape support, as many of you have gotten to know them. A little about our product line. In more detail here, our platform starts with great CAD, okay? Of course, we have parts, assemblies, and drawings. Not the focus today, but we're super proud of that. And we think our CAD, our CAD functions are better CAD. We have a, a vision of Parametrics 2.0. We see customers modeling geometry in ways they never imagined before. And as I may have said earlier, there's no install. We run in web browser, no matter what you're using, Mac, Windows, Linux, Chromebook, you name it, we run on all of it. No need to worry about it. iPhone, iPad, or Android. Everything I'm showing you runs on all those devices. What's new this year? I said earlier, release management workflow. This is something we imagined as part of Onshape from the beginning. We built into our architecture, but now we've released it. This gives you high-end formal release control for assemblies 
drawings, parts, everything. We, yes, we release single configurations of things in case you're wondering. And with customizable workflows, with approvals and notifications. This is the kind of data management functions you need, but you don't need a PDM system to do it. You don't need locking and checkout and copies. This is built in. It's woven into the design experience, okay? So you can take things and you can revision them through a workflow process, pending and so forth through states, and nobody has to stop working. Nobody has to check things in or check in the whole assembly. There's no delays. This means time savings for you. It means you can do more changes than you could before. And like I said a moment ago, things like approvals work here, as you see on an iPad. So goodbye to the old files and PDM servers and its hassles. I don't think anyone's going to miss any of these things. We say goodbye to them, and we say goodbye to the time that it costs you in your process. With traditional CAD and PDM, you have a, cha a choice between working fast or managing data well. We think with our modern approach, you can work faster than you could before and have tremendous management and control of data. The other thing we've unveiled recently is our Onshape Enterprise Edition. This is something new. This isn't like a PDM system or something. What we did is we took the, the characteristics of Onshape that allow us to give you control over who uses it, control over who sees your data, and information about how they use it, and we took it to a new level. We allow our most sophisticated customers to create a private Onshape domain. It's like your own world for your company with all of your Onshape users and all of your data in it, whether those users are at your company or in a global supply chain or network. And we give you our highest level of control and analytics for all of your users and data. What does it mean? This chart, you'll see in a minute, this is a chart that shows connectivity between your global users and the projects they're working on. Who's working on what in a connected graph? This is information you could never have before at all, and now you can have it in real time. It starts with enterprise provisioning. Um, by provisioning, we mean determining who has access to your domain to use the tools and access the data and what kind of access they have. We offer you, with our enterprise edition, different levels of access. You can have employee and guest users. Um, you can have full and light user types. We support single sign-on systems, which many companies are adopting to, to sign into all their cloud services through one technique. You can provision from a web-based dashboard a global team of people of limitless numbers. We had a uh, Onshape Enterprise created with 1,400 users, and I talked to someone who was involved in it, and I said, can I say that we did it in under an hour? They said, John, we did it in half an hour. Half an hour to deploy 1,400 users globally, access in a controlled, secure way to CAD and data management tools. Okay, think about that for a moment. And you can deprovision just as quickly. Someone leaves your team, you stop working with a vendor, you go to your console, you remove them. They have no data. They have no more access to the system. It's done. And again, nothing to install, no servers, no upgrades. Role-based access control allows you to set different permissions for accessing data and assign them to roles in a given project. So you can have someone who is assigned as an engineer on this project can have access to data in only a certain way. You could have people who can only, for example, edit data. They can edit and view, but they can't download. They can't export data. In regular Onshape, you can do that user by user, document by document. But in Onshape Enterprise, you can take a team the size of this whole room and define by role or department who has those kinds of rights and be certain they're enforced. We can also enforce things like two-factor authentication if, uh, for security and securing access. We also give you analytics. You can get a consolidated feed of all activity, not on one given model or project, but on your entire enterprise's activities, or for users who have more limited scope into an organization, for all the work in their group or project set. You can look at things by user. You can look at things by data. You get unprecedented insight into what your team is doing. You can see things that you would never notice before. You can look at where your data is accessed. This is a report showing a, 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 um, an analytics chart showing where your enterprise data has been accessed recently around the world. This is a global map that would show you where has my data been used 
recently. And finally, enterprise integration. We can use our Onshape API to attach to PLM and ERP systems, in this case SAP, many of our customers doing that. In addition to what we've built, our, our partner ecosystem keeps growing. We have an Onshape API, it's used by our customers, as I mentioned a moment ago, it's also used by 51 application partners. So today, and, and many of them are here at Develop3D Live, a big uh, thank you to our application partners. These are people who build applications that work directly with Onshape in simulation, CAM, rendering, generative design, and others. I don't have time to tell you about all of them, but here's a few. Uh, Frustrum, you can do uh, uh, optimized shapes, bring them into Onshape. Of course, we read in mesh models and allow you to work with them in our part studio environment. This is SimSolid, one of our excellent simulation partners works right in our cloud browser window. Uh, no, mesh, no meshing analysis, fantastic product. Visual Cam C just released. This is a full professional grade cam system running in the cloud with links directly through our API. No files to download, links directly to your data. You can do it all in the cloud. The greatest success we've had though is not our partners or even our product modules. The greatest success we have is seeing our customers build great products. Ultimately, we're not in the business of selling CAD or data management software or services. We're in the business of seeing customers build great products. And we have thousands of customers. I wish I could tell you a lot of stories. I just picked a few. Crave, um, you heard from T. Chang this morning on this stage from Crave, a very inspiring designer. And uh, we're proud to see, here's another view, and you get some of the intricate detail in their, their products. And they talk about, uh, this, is, this is T's partner, Michael, talk, talking about the idea that he can get four or five engineers working together in the same project in the same space and not having to try to use PDM to manage data across the team. This is a big benefit. He wants design to be fluid. Um, he, wants it to, he wants to move quickly. They're a very innovative company. Another example, Votea, this, this customer of ours, these are, are water processing machines that treat water in a much more environmentally friendly way than the systems that did it before. Uh, this kind of assembly design, of course, a lot of editing going into this. What they really appreciate is they got a detailed history. Onshape stores in our database every single edit that's ever been made. Not, not just files, but every edit. Who did what, exactly when. It's all stored automatically, you can go back and look at it, you can revert to any state ever in the past. It's an easy way to get the edit history and, and to see what kinds of changes have been made in a product like this. Focus engineering, 40 engineers around the world working on many projects all the time. They want to have confidence that people are looking at the right information. They don't want to be looking at old information. They don't want to be worrying that someone has something checked out and they're making changes. Uh, they want their team to be looking at the same information at the same time around the world. Onshape customers range in size from companies that have, have uh, purchased one, one subscription Onshape to companies that have purchased over a million dollars of Onshape. There's a whole range here. I'm showing you some different examples. Zing Mobility, um, this one we just, we just announced this, this customer yesterday that we've been working with them a long time. They're building battery packs and drivetrains for electric vehicles. Uh, the many have high numbers of components, 7,000 plus battery cells in a single uh, system. In this case, this is um, a super high performance electric supercar, really. And they're tired of designing around the a wrong version. They're tired of spending, I mean, this is, this is his quote, not ours up to 50% of design time on file management. And so, so what, we're, what we're trying to do is get the world to take a look at the hidden costs of existing CAD, at the time it costs you, the sap it can be on your innovation, and see that there's a new way. And we at Onshape have developed this new way. We're proud of the thousands of customers who have adopted it. We thank you. Thank you to our customers most of all, but also our solution partners and I want to say thank you to 
Martin and Al and the Develop 3D Live team, um, I just want to say you guys do a wonderful job again at producing a great event for all of us. And we, we all sure appreciate it. We all come here and learn something. And in closing, I'd say I hope you can see how, for me, this is still the beginning. You've seen us unfold several chapters in the story of Onshape and CloudCAD, and I hope you're excited about them. We have more chapters to come, and we hope you're a part of them. Thank you.